Hello and welcome to the anti stall Racing Season 2 of the Formula 4 series here at Long Beach for the first time. It's a street circuit in Formula cars. What could possibly go wrong? It's round number 4 of the season here today. Two races again of 15 minutes long. They've just started qualifying now where they've got two laps to get a time in. There are 13 drivers here today. I am joined once again by Biggles for Formula 4 and Formula 3 today. Yes, g'day, g'day, g'day. Welcome. It is certainly Long Beach, one of my favourite tracks, I'd have to say. Pretty, pretty new to it, per se. Obviously, they race a lot in the States. And at the moment, we're going to see our F4 and F3 cars go around this uh, brilliant track. Some of the drivers are relatively new to it as well. And you can see the sun is setting here on the western coast of the USA of a, here in California. So, yes, well, right. let's get ready for some qualifying, mate, for sure. As we'll see who goes out on track and we'll see what sort of uh, times that they can put in for an open alone qualifying. Well, open qualifying session. There it is. Yeah. So they, once again, if you are new to it, they're out on the track basically by themselves, but they're all racing at the same time. What do we have for a qualifying session, mate? I believe we have eight minutes and change. You can see they're up in the top left hand side. Yeah, eight minutes to get two laps in. So once everyone's done their two laps, it will just go on to the race. But uh, yeah, this is going to be good because this is like for only one track that you have like the Monaco style walls right next to you in a Formula car. So this is uh, this is good. Because this is the first time we finally get to see the drivers real up close to the wall and who's, who's got the precision driving. So I can't wait to see how this goes. We'll go on board with Liam at the moment. Leon, sorry. He's getting warmed up. Let's pull that track map up on the right hand side in case everybody is kind of new to this. As you can see, he's the 77 car. You can see where he's going around that little kink right now. This is a great little corner here. This is a full on slow speed corner. You can see one of the hardest hairpins I'd have to say in most motor racing because you're practically parallel to the track to the right hand side that you just came down. And now he's going to get ready to start a flying lap, mate. Yeah, he also took a very wide entry into the last turn to try and get the make the straight as long as possible get the top speed here we go then into turn one we're going to find the marker board it's about 200 meters it seems and he's going to miss oh, turn one oh. and hit the wall yeah and that's lap one done uh and maybe even just straight up his qualifying might be done there uh when he comes back out the pits he might be already technically on lap two so that might be leon's qualifying done this is a lovely Lovely car from Ascari here. It's an absolutely lovely livery. It's actually the colours of my race car, so I um, am a fan of that one massively. Another nice livery here of red and white. It's a nice it's platinum sponsor there on the side of that. That's the first time I've seen this name driver. So, hello, hello. Car number 15, another driver from the Levelands coming to the end of his first lap. See where he puts himself on the board. Coming to the line now as he goes to the inside wall. Shortest possible route to right the line. Up. First one on the board, mate. First one on the board. And 19 is the time to beat Brian in the bright pink car. No, so that's Carlos in the bright pink car, of course. Car number 17. Everyone just behind doing 19s, it seems there. So very, very close to the top three at the moment. There's a few others. Got a timing. picture on the, ba there. the background there. It looks like he's got a picture of either his girlfriend or his wife or somebody like that. If you can yeah, see Carlos that. Carlos has somebody yeah. on. Yeah. Lovely tribute there, if so, on the side of the car. Uh, the lead has already gone to the pit lane, so they're only doing one time. I uh, wouldn't know how to say their name. It's, it's got an X in it, for crying out loud. So, Mar Is it Martin? It's surely not Martin X. I'm sure that was, that would be wrong. But uh, yeah, he's already gone to the pit, so he's not doing another one. Aiden in second, William in third. Carlos is on his first time lap here then. Gary goes P5. Lots and lots of curbs to the right and left here then. He's going round again. A very long left hander this is. Eventually finds another apex and has to break for the hairpin. It's a very slow end to the lap here. Aiden's already gone to the pit, so is the Scary. So not many people getting loads of laps in here. Everyone gets two, but few have decided to give it up straight away so maybe some mistakes being done on this street circuit Carlos goes p7 for now Brian does improve once again to go p5 William now goes top with an 18.668 so his qualifying's over and the best he will do is pole 
Let's see if anybody can take that from him. Leon's just coming to start his second lap, so he will get another go at turn one this time. Or yes, I should I should believe he will get another one in. We've had eight cars fours put a time in in P8. Maybe a mistake on that one as he's three seconds off. Paulo coming to the end of his lap now. Losing a lot of the curve and fights against it. Very slow corner. Get some good exit speed as he goes down in straight. It's saying his time's at two minutes, so let's see when he crosses it. If that was just a slow lap, but that was his second lap, so if he has made a mistake, then that is it for Paulo for the qualifying. Now there's Liam Kerr, the Australian. He's chilling, he seems like he's going quite slow. Looks he's like he's in a park. Backed it. off there, yeah. And that's his quality, I'd say, over two. So there's been some mistakes here around the lap. Carlos then, to the end of his lap, I think he may have made a mistake on this lap as well. That's not an improvement. Here you go, back to Gari, which, of course... Oh, that's Gari. Oh, look, look at yeah. it. Look at it. Yeah. That's not that good. He's also, it seems, on a, a much, much slower lap, so his qualifying seems done as well. Aiden went into the pits on another one of his runs. So there's been an interesting here. There's been some mistakes around this street circuit. Two minutes to go. Enough time for people to come out and get laps in. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Uh, just, just looks like a lot of people are just not making a very good uh, second run attempt, perhaps. You can see Aiden Young not really improving. Paul is not really improving. Make to Carlos. He's got a couple of greens. He's so, got some greens, but yeah. he's, he's only you only get two laps. So whatever time he does isn't counting. So he's getting some nice laps in to familiarise himself, but this time's not going to... Same with Paulo, he's driving around the circuit, but he's now on his fourth lap. They're not going to count no, the times. Not count. Yeah. So they're getting some good runs in, but clearly people have been making mistakes on their actual runs. As, uh, four car, well, five cars haven't put times in. Uh, two cars haven't even come out, Kevin and... Blaine, they haven't even come out onto the circuit for qualifying. We've got a minute left, so they're not going to make uh, a lap time. They'll start at the back. Aiden, of course, is first. We did get a good first lap in, but his second lap, he went to the pits. He's come back out to get some running ins, but I think that might be what he did, as he's clipped the wall there. So I'm, I think that could be the story of the day going into Long Beach here. It looks like mistakes are being made around the street circuit. There's your weather forecast for the race. Good, pretty good there. Cloudy, 20 degree track temperature is quite cold, actually. 17, 19, 17, 19 degrees, sorry. He's weather temperature is uh, in the afternoon. Yeah, six kilowatt hour miles. As you can see, it's 7.52. Going on at 8, 8 p.m. in the evening on the west coast of the United States of America. Meantime up, we should have a qualifying times pop up and we do right now so if you'd like to look at that my friend yeah there's as a well track that doesn't up. have too much grip then to but, say we're losing grip so william in america does take the pulse that's good for him p2 for the new driver aiden young will take third so it's good for the americans here at the start of this into heading into race one and tapman takes fourth brian p5 Ascari take p6 carlos p7 4 p8 paulo didn't get time in p9 leon didn't either in p10 same with blaine in p11 and Kevin Stam in P12. I believe there is also Leon in P13 as well. So we have 13 cars lining up for race number one here today. Yeah, it's not showing that one, unfortunately. But it should have scrolled. Doesn't matter. It is what it is. We'll get ready for our racing, obviously, here. And we'll, we'll, um, we'll go have a look at our man of William and our P1 position. We can do our little uh, grid. Doesn't really show him, but with our other grid camera, I'd like to have. Oh, it doesn't have the spinning yeah. one, does it? It doesn't have the spinning one. That's what I wanted, unfortunately. It is what it is. Yeah, a few cars left to grid up. I think Kevin and Carlos. How would you say P2's name then? How are we, we going to approach that? Oh, uh, Marnix. Marnix, yeah, we're going to go Marnix. Yeah, Marnix, we'll go with you, Marnix. Hoister. The J might be very silent. Welcome out there to the chat. If you guys are chatting, if you can chat. I know some drivers will be listening. G'day drivers. 
as we're in Where the helicopter you? cam. I swear, can you hear the helicopter blades? I swear you can actually hear them. Well, I can now hear the revs of the cars. Here we go. The lights are coming on. Once you see five and they all disappear, that's when you go. And they're away. It's a better start from P1 and P2. Andy Tapman, I'd say, he's got a good run from P4. But of course, the first actual turn it is a left-hander. So you want the inside, but it's a good start. Andy Tapman is now up to third. Looks to the outside as they all break. They're all very clear visors on, I must know. As they all go through, technically turn two, fine as they go now, round the roundabout, look how pretty it is. Everybody, I think, has gone single file immediately and it seems like they're okay. Liam Kerr trying to make some places up as he's a long side four now for P8. And the Red Bull livery car will go through. Carlos is his next target, so it's a good start all around. Everybody cleanly through, but look at that. Everyone's got very clear visors on today, it would seem, in the uh, Mercedes type helmet of Andy Tatman as he's now got Aiden Young all over his behind. Aiden made a mistake there in qualifying, but seems fine through lap number one. 15 minute race, of course. As Aiden has a little look and he defends the inside. Aiden's gonna have to go the long way. Not to do it, but won't be able to pull that one off. So of course then, a long, there's a car in the wall in the background. I think it might be four, and it is. He's lost his rear right. I think he may have had a problem with Carlos was slow too. All kicking off now as Aiden tries to get through on. No, that's not Aiden. Is it? it is Aiden. He's been passed by Brian actually, so I'm not sure if he had a bad hairpin. Ascari is coming with him. He's going to slot in that gap. He needs to cover the inside. Or Aiden will go back through and he will into the braking of technically turn two. Liam's gone for it up the inside of Ascari. And a bit of a moment that he slots in there into sixth place and through he goes. So Tina up through the. Tight turn four, really. Look at the close to the wall is Liam there. This is a lovely corner as you go a little bit over the hill and spat back out the other side onto a little bit of a straight. Look for your braking markers into the next turn. Liam's looking for a move. Don't think he's going to pull that one off, and he doesn't. So he's behind in P6 for now. Didn't get a time really in in qualifying for that because a lot of that curve. Well, he does touch the wall there, definitely. That's a touch of the wall, Blade spins in the background as Leon avoid, he does Leon and Carlos avoids in the background. So Kevin's already out as well, I don't know if he started the race. But he is out in P13. Hey, it could be our safety car, I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look, this this is where the action is currently look at the moment, Liam as you there. can see. He took a real tight line there, Liam, into that to get a better exit. See if it worked out for him. He's in the slipstream, but there's five cars in the slipstream here. Last slap by Car in P2, so that gap for the lead will be coming down. But as you said, the racing is here. Aiden looks on the inside of Brian. He's there, he's there, he's there. They're oh. nearly close. They actually, all oh. three of them crash. All four, all five of them. Wow. All five of them have crashed. That is amazing. You think all that would have to be almost a safety car, wouldn't it? But in this case, it's not. I can't believe that. All of them. I heard immediately Aiden apologising on the radio for that one. He said he completely lost the car. It's because he went up the inside. Brian sort of squeezed him onto the kerb. And I think he just lost it a little bit. Got a bit twitchy on the brake. He lost it, hit Brian. And then everybody else could not avoid us. We're on a street circuit. Let's have a look. Oh, replay. bad for them there. This is fantastic. Mm. All five of these cars were in this strip stream. And they're all out now. Here we so, go, then. up the inside, little, Aiden will go. Yep, so if we go to the chopper watch, camp for this one. Watch him go. on the brakes here, he's all fine, he's all fine. About now, he thinks, oh yep. no, clips him. Liam tries to avoid, oh, it's go oh, that's unfortunate for everybody involved. None of them could avoid that at all. <laughs> Let's go back to the replay and have a look from Paul, though. He's coming back here so you can see this mess oh, yes. up the road. Now, you've obviously got nowhere to go. You've got to commit to a corner. You're flat out. Here's the Portuguese driver. You can see up the road there. That's yeah, where Aiden locks team. up. And then oh, he's, oh, wait, nowhere wait, to yeah. go, bang. Oh, he's got himself, really, in trying to break an avoidance. He's, and then he's had to get out of the way as well because the other cars are coming through too. Uh, he's kept going, I think, Paulo. So he mm. must have not suffered too much damage. He's now up the inside of Carlos. So he's continued. So same with Ascari. He's also continued. That's a good move there by Paulo. He's through. Ascari's now gone into the pits. Uh, I think he stayed out a lap longer, and, but it's not worked. He's got some severe damage. 
So Paulo's got some front wing damage, but got away with it in hindsight compared to the rest, which are all in the pits. And a lot of them taking, obviously, toes. I think that's what Scarry's done. He's decided not to take a toe and just gone around again. The leaders now, though, very, very close. Nothing between them. Here we go. That's a move to the inside, then. And that was almost a done move before the caller. William realises that. It's going to make it stick. gives it up. Yeah, he does. He's got the inside line. Yeah, so he puts, parks the car in all the right places. So that's William and Marnix, we believe. Here's a tight corner, a tight hairpin, down at the back straight, the main straight actually, flat out as you, as you uh, line up the road there. Heat one, of course, 15 minute race. Five minutes into it, mate. A lot of action, a lot of people in the pit lane. Aiden, Liam, Ascari, two drivers. All right, we're not sure if Kevin he even did start the race. We've got Brian Ice coming out of the pit lane entrance, so they're all the ones that had a bit of damage already in this race. Yeah, a lot, a lot going on immediately. Didn't expect that from those five cars. They were extremely close together, but you could never predict that that's how that was going to end up. Um, yeah, yeah street circuit, isn't race. it, mate? Street circuit, one mistake, and everybody yeah. else is a part of that party instantly. So Leon's crashed from P4. He's now in the pits as well. So Leon's had a moment around this street circuit. That's another car suffering. Aiden's now back out of the pits after. Yeah, let's have a look at Leon's crash real quick there. See what the happened to Leon here. By himself. So this is a self mistake, mistake problem. Oh, this is going to go car. too deep, I'm going to say. He was ahead of Paulo. Let's have a look there. Oh, I'm really happy. Tank slapper. That's the wall, and that's a broken rear right suspension oh, there. Polo's crashed as well. Let's have a look at what happened to our Portuguese driver. Now, he, he, got, he got ahead, obviously, of that. Is he had a tank slap in the wall as well? Oh, he's going he's gonna to hit the... He's got front wing damage, so is he going to hit oh. the outside wall here? Spin. The rear of the, no, wow, he Ooh. just goes on his own. Does he hit anything? I kept no. I think. There are cars coming the around the corner. Does, yeah, he has to wait. Oh, he's going to oh, do a backup too. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, back to the action. Still, between Liam and Markets, Mark, Mark Nix is leading this race there. William's the, the homegrown hero here, the number 10 car. Still keeping him in check. Halfway through the race. Very dramatic race, of course. It feels like we're at Silverstone all over again, isn't it? Why not? Yeah, it's immediate, <laughs> immediately uh, action-packed, of course. Two races, of course, the reverse grid as well for the second one. Reverse to eight, sorry. So at the moment, Aiden will be... It said William had a crash. Oh. So let me cut this for real. Check that. Check that. What happened here? Did he have a tank slapper? I don't know. We're looking at a replay of the man that's currently in P2. Does he hit anything, maybe? I think he hit... Maybe some book. Could just be... Our might race... Oh, a little slide moment, perhaps. Can that might have been... Wall? Yeah. Wow, it's so, very sensitive to say. Yeah. The door that's crashed as well, too, back here. P oh, the car number five. And behind uh, Carlos, does he just have a moment on maybe coming out of the hairpin, I'd assume? Maybe put the power down too much. Oh, there. on the way in. Oh, good save, yeah. though. And uh, actually, looks like our racing leaders might have made a mistake as well. Let's have a look. Unless this is super sensitive. He has. He has. He's made a huge mistake here. He was leading this race, and now what's happened? He's quite comfortable in the lead, I'd say. It's oh, a it's spin. the rear! Oh, the rear! Oh, it's come straight off as well. Yep. Oh, he's hit it at such an angle, it's just knocked the wheel straight off. The rear end just, just dips out. Andy Tatman's crashed too. He's yes. just gone past. Let's have a look at Andy What's here. What's going on? Everything's gone pearl-shaped right now. I had to put that car back in the pit, He's just got into P2, yeah. and he's missed turn one or something. Is he? Oh. No way. What's he do? What's he do? Oh, oh the rear's gone. Oh, nicely saved. Doesn't hit any yeah. wall, surely, but escape road for him. Yep, escape road and back mm. into the race. Nice, well held in the end. Well, well seen that he was making the mistake. Stays in P2. Uh, the car behind him is just a back marker of Brian. And another crash here from somebody. We also had Paulo Lopez has been involved in other incidents as well here for the Portuguese driver. He's still running currently at the moment P4, but maybe a little lock up, maybe another spin. This is further back, just about a lap or so ago. I think this could be the same corner, isn't it? Where they, he's gone too deep there. That's probably what it was showing us. Thor's had another crash as well. <laughs> it's all going pearl shaped. Yeah, there's so much going on here. Just, has he kicked the wall there, maybe? 
on the inside, I wonder, or is he going to drop it here? Let's see, he's on the back side. Lost... There, he's dropped it, and that's a oh. wall hit, and that's... He's kept going, interestingly, but that's going to be telling a bit. He has gone into the pit lane now. So William now, everyone's just dropping it around, and William's got a 12-second gap. I've got three holes in my jeans as well from <laughs> working on cars, which are uh, quite uncomfortable. William's got a huge gap now. Now, now he's just got to play it safe. We've seen everybody make mistakes. He's got five minutes now just to keep it out of the walls. He's watched people behind him crash. He's watched people in front of him crash. He's just got to keep it steady now. And Tapman's in second. Carlos has got to do the same thing in third. He's watched everybody around him crash. Same with Paulo, he's had a few, he's in P4, our race leader is now in f fifth, so he has come back out way ahead of all the others that had uh, their big crash, so he seems pretty settled in in P5, Brian in P6, Aiden P7, Ascari P8, Leon's back out in P9, uh, 4 hasn't come back and now is Liam or Blaine. Does so he, do they have to make a pit stop, is that mandatory or not? I, I can't remember, no, no, no it's not, yeah. Uh, it's all straight 15 minute race and well, I was going to say straight five, but clearly it's just survival more than anything in this one. As long as you keep it on the road, you should be in with a good chance. And that's basically what the top three have done. Even, even then again, even Andy Tapman's had to go down the escape road at some point in the race. So I think Polo's had another moment here in the 88 car. And he's still got to keep it pointing in the right direction. He's gained five positions in this race so far. And it's a matter of survival of the fittest now, isn't it? It's attrition. And there it is. That could have been what the highlight reel was trying to tell us. Just a little eager on the, on the gas pedal, but uh, kept it out of the fence. So it looks like uh, Leon's had another crash. <laughs> What's going on with Leon this evening? Leon's had another one then. Let's see. Is he just... These cars are quite loose cars to drive. Unless they count going out of that red line as a mistake, but I'd be shocked if so. That's just deep there. I think this might be triggering it from that. Yeah, yeah. Ryan and Running Andy. Do we have a double crash here somewhere? It's a, a race <laughs> no one wants to win. That is brilliantly put, George. Liam is winning. Hey, George. But, uh, he has got quite a big margin as well. So Andy Tatman's really dropped off the back of him. Yeah. And is this why has he got all oh, oh, that's, that's why. it. Yeah. Oh, dear God, he's spun in front of a back marker. Have they both survived? No front wing, surely, for Brian. I'll be surprised if... Yeah, he's just crumbled. So Andy's lost the rear Bang. on his own. I am surprised he's got... Any, <laughs> no, he hasn't got a front warrant wheel. And that is P2. Heading to the pit lane. And it's now Carlos is in P... Is P2, and he hasn't crashed. Pab... Paulo's in P3. This is insane what's going on here. They're just... They're just dropping everywhere. How everybody else has had a big moment or something's gone wrong. Let's put Brian down to P8 in the end. Leon, no, I'm sorry, P9. William is only one, apart from Carlos, hasn't had a moment too. I think Carlos has been fine in P2. Um, Aiden Young's had another one, which put him down yeah, P9. Let's have a look at what he happens. Was, he was about P8, so it's just everything's popping off here. What does Aiden do? Is it turn one? Oh, oh, wow, oh, oh, that's. Yeah. Speed there. Oh, that's Back completely the uh, sparks coming out of your rear tire there. That's all flippery. Yeah, I got no suspension. That's got to be come back to the pit lane, which he did. Yeah. Leon's uh, Leon fun. Leon's had another moment. It appears uh, going for the crash record. I'd have to say around Long Beach already in the first it's heat gonna race. It's going to be the same as Aiden here, isn't it? It's going to be yeah. too deep into turn one. He's watched somebody in front do it. Yeah, that's yeah, not stopping is. in time. Uh, yeah. That's a big one. That's, that tire wall needs to be repaired after this one, I think. That's been hit several times now. Look at the track map, mate. Look how they were so spread out there. You got a whole bunch of cars in the pit lane again. And now. Yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's quite a lot of them in there. It's just Williams. Might be... Williams just got to go around slowly. I'm going to keep an eye on that because his times, well, once you can see there at the moment, best one 19.4, last a 20.29. So he's slowing down a lot, of course. Oh, yeah, there's no point. Yeah. <laughs> there is the, everybody else. He's got a big margin. Yeah, there's no, it's crazy. This man's the quickest. Look at that. His last lap was yep. the quickest, but he's got, look at the gap. It's just a lot to gain in, what, a minute and so. So that'll be it. We'll have to go to William. And so William, I think, is just going to comfortably go well. He, he had a moment, remember, as well. Everybody, I'd have to say, in this race so far has had a moment at least. 
Okay, he's going to go on to the last lap now. Final lap, he starts. This is the last one. Just got to keep it. He can take it as long as he wants here. He can take a good one minute 30 lap time in here, come out as the winner. So that's what he needs to do. He just needs to break early and be sensible about this. And he's all fine in turn one. Yeah, he would be just cruising around at this point to get a win. There's a car in front of him, slow. Um, and that is... Oh, no, it's... Oh, it was our, it was our previous leader. It was P5 that just at eight, at one minute eighteen. Yeah, he's just on the fast of the race. He's lost the rear end. Yeah, there Here we go, turn Bang. one. And that's why I say be cautious because he's that's the second time in this race now. This track is just eating the cars. This is insane. It's <laughs> like the magnets are in the wall. I can't believe this. Well, it's up to William now. As you can see, that's the number one going into the back straight. Here yeah, gets through that corner comfortably. Now down the back straight. Loud pedal as loud as he possibly can. I wonder if he's going to try to go for the fastest lap here right now to get maybe a bit of a trifecta. He did start on pole. Ant Stool Racing are going to have a massive repair bill at the end of this one. They're the organizers. They're the ones that supply the car. They're going to have to really get some new suspension parts out because there's a lot of cars that have lost a lot of parts in this race. But William hasn't touched any walls. And will win race one today. He might be the only one to actually finish. Well done to William. Got pole and takes the win. He wasn't leading the whole race. But he's just kept his head down. And that's a good win for William in America. The American wins. He's got a good 27 second gap back to Carlos. Which will be very happy. I think last week, didn't we say Carlos didn't even mm -hmm. get to finish any of his races? I don't know, I think. Yeah. And he's going to take a P2 this week, though. The pink car in second. Well done to Carlos. Keeping it out of any trouble. Well, Pat, Paulo had some trouble, but it's still a podium. He does manage to finish with a broken front wing. He gets there in the end. Andy Tatman, which was second at one point. He made a mistake and threw it away. It's a P4, though. He still gets some good points in fourth. Good, solid result. After a mistake, I'm colliding with Brian. Not the only one to make a mistake, of course, in this race. Ascari has already finished a lap down, I think, in P5, but... So five finishes in the end. Here's our results. An insane one. William will take it. Carlos will take P2. Paulo P3. Andy P4. Scary P5. Of course, the leader at one time ends up getting sick. He also does get the fast start, so he gets uh, an extra point for that. But yeah, P6 in the end. Leon takes P7. Aiden takes P8. So that will be pole for race two for Aiden. So yeah, Evan didn't actually start the race at all. And Lane only lasted, I think, our two laps into it. They're on the grid again for race number two. Another 15 minutes of chaotic action, I'm sure. Absolutely. So they're going to have to do this all over again. You can see how eager he is. He's trying to warm his tyres up. But the car's stationary, of course. So, gee, your best, mate. You get to do it all over again. Welcome to Heat 2, the feature race. Here we go again. Who gets a good start this time? It's Leon, I'd say. The initial launch is pretty good from Leon. Third place immediately tries to cover fourth off. He's left racing room, so he's all fine as we go down to this turn one immediately. This could be a bit chaotic as cars are spreading out a little bit, I'd say. There's a little look, but everybody looking a bit sensible into turn one. Ascari's actually missed. He's breaking a bit there, but everyone survives. They're free wide. Everyone's trying to be nice, getting in lines. Just like race one, everybody has survived the first couple of corners, but that's not exactly where the chaos is. The chaos is 15 minutes of trying to survive around this track as Liam is all over the back of Carlos and will try and get a move down here. He's going to have to try and switch back to the inside, which he does there. Look at that in the background. As Leon stays ahead of our new driver, which got the fast lap in race one has a little look there stays behind leon for now aiden's trying to get a bit of a gap in the lead has quite got a bit of a gap already and leon is defending in we go it's the only sort of bit of action everybody else is no that's a bit deep from leon and he's gone through leon loses a place he's got to get back into it immediately look at that leon oh. on the inside he's blinked blinks back he's all good Everybody survives. It was a bit of a late one there. Andy Tatman now trying to get past Leon. Into turn one. 
Leon did have a few moments in the first race in the braking zone hit. See if he's worked out where it is for race two. Oh! He's gone and everybody avoids this time. There's a stranded car. No, oh. Liam's out and all of the. There's... It's again. It's the same place oh, at the same time, isn't it? Everywhere. It's deja Find... vu. Absolutely deja vu. Scary avoided. Liam's out. I'd say Leon's out. Four is involved. Brian's involved. Scary went down the skate road to avoid. And another one has happened. Leon, I'm not sure if the second incident was anything to do with him, but he's now out after spinning. He's locked the rear. He's got a bit too deep into turn one. Chaotic once again. Liam was trying to make his way through the pack. Gets involved in an unfortunate incident that I don't think he could have avoided again. In the same corner as race one as Andy defends from Paulo. Trying to. There's a Absolutely. mistake in front of him, is there not? Yes, yes there, there is, there once is. again. Is that race leader? Same. You no, know, it was P2. Oh. Same as what he did when he was leading the race in race one. This time he hasn't hit the wall, so he's kept going, but lost a chunk of time in a there? lot of positions. Here it is. Let's have a look. You can see the other battle behind that we we're watching. Here it is. He's gone. See, 12 up the road's Aiden Young. He's a he's Mount Manix. Manix. Real quick. Oh, he's, he's uh, a little bit on the bump. Yeah, there it is. It all up. Keeps it out the wall, hopes that no one hits him and he's all good. Marnix back down to P5 now. It's chaotic again. I'd say we've got, well, Blaine didn't even attempt to start this race, which is probably a smart move. And I think Marnix, Marnix has crashed again. Uh, I don't know if he's hit the wall though, because his time hasn't plummeted, so he may have just had a little bit of a spin. As we've got Andy Tapman and Paulo and William all in second, third, and fourth place. Quite a big gap now to the car in front and behind. So it's just these three now battling out for some podium positions. Within the first three minutes, of course, 12 minutes to go. I would say be a bit cautious, but the caution is not a word used in any of these F4 races, I must say, as William has got a good run on Paulo here to the outside, which becomes the inside, I believe, for the next corner. He's there, he's there, he's still there. They're both there, and they're gonna stay side by side for the whole of the last section of the lap, William will eventually have the inside line for the hairpin. Yeah. But Paulo will get a better exit, and it's quite a long straight. So, play his card right here. Paulo could try. There he goes. Comes out of the slipstream. He should go back in. Yep, goes back in. Waits a little bit longer because might as well wait until after this slight corner. Now to the inside he goes. And he has the inside. Now it's who's late on the brakes. Oh, there was a twitch! Oh. There was a twitch! Yeah, there's a, a back marker. There was a back marker there that came out of the pit lane. It's caught him both off guard. I think he's had the lift. Paulo had a twitch and they connected wheels and I think... I think it's ripped both of their wheels off in the end. Let's have a little William. replay then, once again. Here we go then. He pulls on, back board. into the strip street. Goes back out. It's very close racing. It's good racing. They're going to stay side by side so, yeah. for this bit. This pit lane has a little traffic. Here. Yep. Is this a? Yeah, that's where it is. It caught him off. Maybe it, did, it kind of looked like there was contact, but there wasn't, was it? Let's go back on Liam's point of view then. As Liam, and you got to think about Paulo's to the left hand side right now as they're going down. We're on board with, with yeah, William. Squeezing him a little yep. bit. Cars coming out. No bother. Get the brakes turn in. There's going to be a car on your inside, but it's all fine. Oh. Yeah. He has a little twitch. Yeah, and no. Yeah, it, was, it was Paulo turning into him a little bit, I guess. But I think that back marker really caught him off. Slight mistake, and it's taken yeah. third and fourth out of the race. So what's that done? That's put Scari up to P3 now. Created some massive I wanted gaps. to go back to the, uh, yeah, the, all the crashing that happened at the start of the race. And you said that was, who was that? Uh, was it Liam that it caused that crash? Liam, Liam, yeah. was, Liam was involved right, in the crash look. behind. Let's have a look. This is event. earlier on. So... At some point here, Leon is eventually, yeah, Leon will spin then we at the end of the long straight. But it's what happens behind him where it all kicks off that I'm not sure if it was because of him or not. But it's to do with Leon, Liam in the background yeah, there. He goes up the inside yeah. of Scari. Let's have a look. Although Scari eventually goes to the, uh, he goes off the circuit, he goes to the escape road. So I'm assuming Liam and Scari stay side by side after this. Bit of a late move here from Liam. Up the inside, yeah, yeah. look at that. Uh, it it doesn't hit. Oh, the camera angle no, changed, no. but yeah, there it is. Well, they stay side by side here for the entirety of this, but this, this where it gets chaotic is into turn one. So so it, somehow, I don't know how it's going to happen, but Liam ends up in the wall and Scari ends up in 
the escape road. So they're on the wrong side of the circuit for that to happen. Let's see if they switch sides the buildings any in the second. Way. <laughs> or is Scari going to... Scary's going to miss his brakes by a mile. He goes yeah. straight. Liam has to go straight too. He yeah, hits the wall. Carlos hits the wall. There's another car. And then the other two sequential yeah. uh, sim sports can't avoid the incident and turn up right at the, um, the scene of the accident. There you go. Aiden Young driving away nine seconds back to hand. Tatman, which has got Liam Leon behind him on track. But not on the road. It's getting quite Sorry, dark, isn't it, here too in the evening? Yeah, the lights have gone so off. Show that up there at the moment. Long Beach. You can see that. It's 8 eight thirty in the evening. Now, there's no track lighting. It's only street lighting, of course, because it's a street circuit, so they haven't done like it they would do in Singapore. So I'm sure see. that uh, <laughs> local residents weren't too really happy about hearing the F4 cars <laughs> yeah. crashing into the walls and flying by them at 8 o'clock at night, but we're all for it. Did he just touch the wall there, Aiden? Oh, I hope maybe. he didn't. He has got a big gap, so it's not worth any mistakes. Of course, halfway through, really, now. So, still a little while to go. Anything can happen. He's got a 10-second gap back to... I think to Thor's had a crash somewhere here. Let's have a look at yeah, Thor's stuff. Yeah, the locals were complaining a little bit in Miami, but at the end of the day, it was a trade-off, isn't it? Because the ones that were in the neighborhood nearby, the Dolphin Stadium, and the Hard Rock mm -hmm. Stadium were saying, you know, well, it's here, it is oh. the same thing, isn't it? But he has kept it out of the fans. A little bump yeah. into that turn. They're not, He's they're also not crashed nice again a little bit after that as well. These tyres might be a little bit. Yeah. Well, they're not getting up to temperature oh. too well either. Paulo's crashed as well. Let's have a look. Is he? Is he? Is it contact? It looked like it. Leon's had a crash or a spin. Let's have a look at Paulo. He's by himself, unless he I manages mean, to. I don't think he's going to hit anybody up the road because isn't that a scary up the road? Yeah, yeah no, that's a spin. Just, oh, there he yeah. goes. He has looped it. Oh, he yeah. has hit the wall. Rear wing damage too. And then that's a three-point turn, Austin Powers style. He won't be saying yeah, yeah baby, yeah. He'll be like, uh, he'll be saying, <laughs> yeah, no, I am stupid. Well, he's, what is he? <laughs> is he he's Portuguese, isn't he? So <laughs> in more of a bit of an accent, but yes, he's not had a good time there. Yeah, he's back. Well, Williams in the pit lane. So I wonder why William went into the pit lane. I remember William that he's, time. He's been in there now yeah. for four minutes. Because a lot of damage. The, yeah, damage of Paulo. Maybe he's just decided that it's not worth coming back. Out. There are only six cars, so I guess it is worth. But then, it's, then if you come back out, you're only fighting for seventh place points. Hey, well, come back out. I'd come back out anyway, just in case. Any of these six trip over themselves. I think we need some headlights on these cars, mate, because it's getting pretty dark. You can see how bright the LED screen, the sign is on the side. That's the brightest thing that's on the track at the moment. Oh, it explains <laughs> why they're having such clear yeah. visors. Absolutely. I can't show you that cool camera that we do have sometimes. It shows you looking back in the driver, I believe. I don't have anything like that. And these cars? I think a few of the yeah. drivers have just gone to Hooters. Yeah. Why not? I think that there's a Hooters thing, isn't there? So I think that what they've done is they've gone to the pit lane and gone, ah, oh, don't bother repairing it, mate. I'll just go, and <laughs> go for some food. You can see all the scratches on the paint on the left-hand yeah, side of the suspension there. That's all. That's probably all the bits of, of rubber and carbon fibre that's flicked up from all those accidents that happened on the track earlier. And wall. <laughs> wall, yeah. he's hit it at some point. A few tank slappers into the wall. Yep, there he goes. So yeah, it's got a bit... car is not... It's very second-hand looking, isn't it, now? He is leading the race, so... Going very dark. Love Isn't this hairpin corner, look at this. You make it, yep, all the way around. It's definitely dark, isn't it? it looks like it's kind of... It's very dark, yeah. <laughs> maybe... The, may, five may... minutes left. Do we have enough <laughs> sunlight? Yeah, may, maybe... I, well, iRacing's probably going in there and said, you know what, guys, so this is... We're going to test our, our first rain model here. Surprised the drivers here at any store racing. We're going to give them... We're going to give him a random rain. Did I see uh, Gary the Hedgehog up on, on the banner as well, too? Gary race, the Hedgehog. Ra race, uh, yeah. Who was it, the Hedgehog? I don't know. Uh, it was in the see. Canadian GP. I saw I saw a, uh, a, a post of a Hedgehog there. Yeah, as George, George was saying, race would be cancelled at this point. Just look how dark it is. I'm, just, yeah, I'm looking at the out. Twitch feed. Yeah. It's even darker, of course, with the filters. Is it? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, it's uh, run out of electricity, apparently. 
The only thing we can show you in the background was the iRacing screen where a car's just casually doing donuts. But, um, you look at the LEDs on the steering wheel. Yeah. You see them quite well. They're quite bright. Let's go on board the cockpit and have a look at uh, how difficult it is from his perspective. Of course, yeah, he'd be like sitting there trying to turn the dimming down on his steering wheel right yeah. now. It's so bright. You get that, don't you, on the GT3 cars? But at least they had headlights when you're doing like the, we did the Le Mans, of course, here at Any Store Racing. And yeah, it, at least you know you have that night lighting, don't you, in, in the car, which is kind of that purple that you have on an airplane when it wants you to sleep in the middle of the night for long flights. It's kind of like that. In this case, yeah, you need to dim that steering wheel down as the sun is definitely setting here in Long Beach with three minutes to go still, mate. Yeah, three minutes to go, he's pretty confident. Of course, the F3 race is coming after this. They're yeah. 20 minutes long. Wow, hope, uh, they're going to they be start dark. A bit early. Yeah, I hope they start <laughs> a little earlier in the time zone, otherwise they're going to run out. No, don't <laughs> tell them. Don't tell them. That'll be exciting. I want to see it. Come on, guys. You have to keep the same time zone. Let's have a look at Carlos. He might have had a bit of a moment here, and in, in the uh, if we can even see the car on the track right well, now. His car, to be fair, his car's <laughs> yeah. the brightest on the circuit. Yeah. I can tell you that now. It's a good thing he's all in pink. We can see his car. What does he do then? It does look oh, really on. dark on the Twitch stream. It looks a lot darker on the Twitch stream than it does on my. Oh, I'm thinking about on turning my... up the brightness. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, on my, just on my PC. It's like quite... I can't say how much I like Ascari's uh, livery. I really am a fan. Just the pure. I think obviously. Doors had another moment too, mate. Let's have a look as I well. One. It looks lovely. He did, did have the golf livery, of course, over the back, but that's a lovely livery design. On him, what does four do then? I feel He's... like that red, red line. If you go over, it might be yeah, telling us, be. telling you off. But what does he do here? Does he just loop it around on the exit? Oh, it doesn't look like anything really. Well, it's be the, yeah, it doesn't look like Ascari. What about to, you? Want to sub the golf over there of Ascari? Let's have a look at him as he's yeah, on board saying. How lovely it is. It's all a little bit Ooh. fast, a bit twitchy. He's all good though. Yeah, you're going quite fast here, aren't you? Straighten it up a bit for the hairpin. Are we all good? A bit of a lock up on the exit. We all good? Seems fine. Yeah, I think it's that red line. They go over the red line. It's like, no. You've gone too what? You must think they're hitting the walls on it, but they're nowhere near it, really. Back to our race leader. If we can see him. I... <laughs> he needs brighter colours on his car. It's dark, uh... isn't it? Oh, wait, we're going to go back to the live, of course. Yep, sorry, because we still have... Uh, now to the last minute, under a minute. Where is he on track? Yeah, he should get across. Uh, he get across yeah. in time, I think, yeah. Well, he's got 15 minutes to... Uh, 15 minutes, 15 seconds to play with if he does want to slow down and let time run out. Uh, we ran out of sunlight and we just have completely ran out of sunlight now. It's somehow <laughs> got darker than it was a few minutes ago. And it, I'm squinting to see his car at this point. There's a close battle for P2, actually, with, as we go ahead to the final lap of the race. This guy is only what, six tenths behind Andy in right. the end. We have a race. Here we go. Oh, no, we oh. touched the wall. Keep it together. You've touched the inside wall. I hope your, your rear right's okay. Is it still pointing in a straight line? It seems it. We can't. If it's that dark, you can't see the wall. Yeah. I can't. I'm, I'm not Twitch stream as well, too. It looks so dark. There's no headlights on these cars, of course. You need to get your little flashlight out of the cockpit. There's and no maybe brain lights either, so you're not yeah. going to be able to tell where the other car is. Look at this. I'm bored of him. You can't. I'm just... Yeah. There you go. Find your apexes in the darkness. That's, that's how skilled you are. Last lap. Will you be able to pull a move on Andy? Oh, he's got deep there. That's right, collected all up. It said Andy had crashed too, so maybe Andy had tanked to slap the wall a little bit, but it's looking okay still in P2. Yeah, his cars move around quite a lot, I'd say. And Young will be coming to the end of the lap now, but this guy is all over the back of Andy. Let's hope he doesn't hit him because he can't see him. Aiden Young yeah. takes race number two of the night in the Formula 4s, but Ascari to the outside of Andy on the final lap of the race. There's no way he's stopping that in time. Keep it out of the wall. Oh, oh he does hit the wall, but he's, is he... Oh, it's damaged. It's really damaged, but he can still drive it to the line for third. But you can see the sparks, of course. That's probably the only thing you can see. You can see the Aiden Young right now. Happy camper to take that race win. As he'll have a little spin coming out of the corner, and there it is. So. They both get to the line. Andy takes P2. Ascari with a damaged car does creep across the line in third. 
But yeah, look how difficult that is probably to turn now. That's not turning. <laughs> and Brian, in the end, will take P4. Yeah, where's and Brian? Carlos. He's somewhere there. There he is. He's, I can't see him. Spot the Carlos car. will take P5. So it's a good day for Carlos. Um, there he is. Uh, yeah. Well, the repair bill, probably not the best. But Four's going to take P6. So we do again have six cars finishing. I wonder what the F3s are going to do. They're a little bit quicker and very known to being bad on the <laughs> brake, so I assume the hairpin's going to be Ooh, yeah. difficult. As well as turn one again, that could be interesting to see how that one goes. Especially after the incidents that we had, didn't we? Here we go. Feature race yeah. results are up, my friend, for you to go through. Yeah. We've got a GT freeze to come here at some point. Can't wait to see how they get around this circuit. Aiden Young then takes the race win. And he takes P2. Scari limped across the line in P3. Brian takes P4. Carlos P5. 4 P6. They're all a lap down. Leon doesn't technically finish, but gets P7. Paulo P8. William Woods running in the top three. Ends up P9. Uh, Maddox takes P10. Uh, had the pace, but bad day at the office for him. Liam had good pace as well, but again, another bad day for Liam in P11. And Blaine takes P12. And Andy did not actually start in P13. Yeah, we'll be back, I guess, in just a minute. Wanted to see, obviously, what happened there a little bit earlier. But, uh, yeah, this is back when it was actually daytime, believe it or not, in this track circuit. Yeah, you can really tell, can't you? Look at that. The sun's back out. And this was Liam when he went a little bit too deep into that corner. Still managed to keep it out. But, uh, anyway, it's going back to see the camera and stuff like that. So that's it, guys. Please stick around. We're going to end the stream for a second, I believe. Do we end it or we just go to a temporary pause? Wow, we just got yeah. to a temporary pause, temporary pause before um, as the F3 guys get all ready to go. And a little practice that they're probably already in. Yeah, we've got to be right back. I was supposed to fix that last time. I didn't. So anyway, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be ready for the next race coming up soon, of course, for the uh, F3 Top Guns here in Long Beach. Don't go anywhere.
Hello and welcome back to the uh, Antidote Racing League. We are here for the Formula 3s now. It's uh, sunny again. It's time for two races of 20 minutes. They're currently just in their practice session, uh, getting used to the street circuit of Long Beach, which they look like they're struggling with. But they've got daylight for now. We'll see how long it lasts before they run out. So yeah, two 20-minute races, but they're in practice now before qualifying, where they course just like four. They get two laps to get some times in. Yeah, welcome back everybody. We did want to keep you waiting, even though it's a practice session. We know that if you're hanging around at the moment, looking quite beautiful, some shots there at the moment too, mate. I'm going to leave it on some cool little uh, usual cameras that we don't usually show you because it doesn't really show you all the racing entertainment. But there it is here in the beautiful Long Beach in the daytime, as you'd mentioned, mate. Not the nighttime anymore. Let's have a look at those track conditions, or well, the weather conditions as well, too, to see what sort of time of day. Now we're looking at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, I believe, mate. Look at that. 7.23, oh, wow. unless it's p.m. Oh, that looks morning. We've got a lot of, got a lot of daytime. We've got a yeah. lot of light to get through. I think they've uh, learned that lesson. Oh, somebody's gone straight off the escape road. Yeah, I think they've kind of learned the lesson there from the one they're going, yeah, we might have gone a little bit too dark. Even though they didn't turn the street lights on here, did they, at uh, Long Beach? Because they could have. Could have been enough. Well, if this is 7 o'clock in the morning the yeah. next day, I, yeah. I can't imagine how annoyed the neighbours are. If they've had to listen to racing to 8 o'clock at night and immediately 7 o'clock in the morning, more yeah. race cars are out there, louder ones as well, already tearing up the track. Lovely delivery. I think that's Kevin's livery there. With the, yeah, it's Kevin. Uh, Mum. The Netherlands flags just on the front wing, which is lovely in the... I think you got a few of those, a few of uh, the uh, distal ones uh, have the flag on the front of the car, on the front wing, which is awesome. The WSB Solutions. This is the camera uh, angle I love, my friend. Like, how do, you, how do you look at that looking underneath the car? It's a little naughty, of course. Getting all the little bits and pieces of suspension and stuff like that. Oh, no. It's cheeky. Yeah, uh, Wouldn't allow that Formula 1 now, would they? How about, I don't know where you put this one. Is this, a, is this must be on the, on the rear wing, isn't it? Because you can't have the... Uh, be on the rear wing, yeah. Unless, unless you put the, the GoPro tire. on the tire and should be spinning around right now, shouldn't we? Unless it's attached <laughs> to some of the suspension, but it should be moving <laughs> with it, I guess. It's lovely. It's a different way to look at the circuit as well. Yeah, let's have a look at Mateo's car as oh, he goes well. bang into the fence well, now, now we can look at the buildings. That are different oh, yeah, we can have a look at some of the other cars, of course, that were in the... F4s, now they're in F3s. This is Enzo. He's now joined us. He's got his, his uh, well, uh, we believe that he, they're, they're brothers, aren't we? Cause oh, Theo, they are brothers, yeah. Yeah, that's Theo. Uh, Theo, Theo and um, Enzo. I'm never sure which one's the oldest. I don't know why. I've got the feeling that the uh, that uh, Enzo is, sorry, I think it's Theo. I think, that, I think it's older than Enzo. But uh, I, it's never been confirmed. Yep, the two brothers. Is, I think that's... Just touched oh yeah, I can show you the uh, driver details at the moment that I have up, I'll show you. That's the, uh, yeah. Just having a look to see if I can find that cool camera. I wanted to find that one where we look back at the driver, but I'm quite sure we do have it on this one. Oh, here we go. Here's a drive camera. Wow. <laughs> no halos in these cars, so I don't think they're going to be too happy if they go to Silverstone, my friend, and turn one. Charles, Charles <laughs> Perfine. Yeah. So we can show you this, guys, because we're at a practice session. They only have about three minutes to go, so we can actually get a good idea of the looking at the livery of all of our different gladiators that are out of track, of course, and the different angles and the different cool perspectives. I'm surprised yeah, these things still is, don't have is, halos, mate. Really. This is what we do uh, <laughs> during the uh, practice sessions. I just sit every yeah. time playing with cameras and looking at people's liveries and uh, numbers. Just trying to get used to... Because I can't say their names, so I might as well be able to recognise their numbers and liveries. Like Ascari's. I know he's going to be in a lovely orange. Oh, it's just good. This is your favourite. One of your favourite ones, isn't it? The golf oh, livery. Oh, I just... Yeah, it's, I'm... Yeah, I'm a sucker for the colours together. Even if you change the blue to a, yeah, a green, I'm a sucker for that. But yeah, it's lovely. It's what my race cars co coloured in. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of the colours, massively, especially orange. The light blue just... Oh! Pops so well the orange next to it, but you've got to put a little black line between them just to really look at it. Just make it look 
Lovely. Just cars Who's everywhere. the car behind there? That, that purple livery there, the 427, I think it is? That's Aiden. So Aiden's got a different livery, I think he's sporting on this F3 car. Got the little purple mirrors and the purple rear wing. Definitely looking like he's a lot quicker at the moment during practice session than what Ascari is. It's your anti stall racing car up the road there. Some models oh, should be with us as well. There should be 14 cars here for the Formula 3 race. Kevin Stam decided that today he wants to take part in the Formula 3, so he's pole at the moment in practice. What better yeah. about joining in for the Formula 4? Keep an eye on those times too, because that's a 13. We saw a lot of spins, but that's, hey, this is the time you do it. Practice sessions. So, yeah, that's, yeah, it's always the best practice, the best time to spin and crash. That's when you've got to find the limit. You can see and that fighting, yeah. Gary found that one a bit too early on the accelerator, I think, for him. Didn't even put Aiden for one bit. Matteo, another French driver in the yellow and black. Car, yeah, do you think it was nice going for, the, for that uh, that Renault livery? The old school yeah, Renault nice livery. It's in different colours as Liam goes now first in practice. Yeah, it's always nice to see a variety of colours on the racetrack. It's always, it's always, I always enjoy seeing them, so it's nice to see. Um, it's always nice to see retro liveries, but it's also nice to see custom uh, liveries to drivers, and that one is a nice one from the toe. I do love that that camera angle where it goes around the uh, dolphin waterfall, isn't it? That, that and there's a roller coaster oh, yeah. here in the background, and then there's a Ferris wheel. Obviously, there's a bit of a theme park here. I would actually love it if you actually had a uh, a roller coaster ride or one of those, actually almost like trackside or even cross the track during the. Um... Oh, that's a big, that's a that's a big hit that into the wall there. Yeah. That's a rear right. It's gone. More repair bills for. And still, and then Liam touches the wall. So, he gets away with it, though. In the Red Bull livery. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Liam in the F1 race on Monday, mate. That's had a bit of a... Uh, oh, well. No, that dropping a couple of places for a last pit stop. That was probably a glitch. Yeah, we do have that from the Australian, the Australian driver, remember, because of the uh, connection where he is around well, the world. car just self-destructed. I was like, whoa. There's that dolphin uh, waterfall that they're around about, that they do go around. And qualifying, that's it, mate. So the practice is over. Now we're going to be go back to the qualifying as we're looking up at there. What room are you staying in? I think you're staying in, what, 12B or something up there on that hotel there? Can't remember which I'll one you're staying. I'll take 12. 12. On the balcony. Like 100. <laughs> oh, I'll take a nice balcony view. That'd be great. Looking down on the circuit. Qualifying will be underway now. Eight minutes of qualifying that you're going to have. So we're just going to wait for some of those drivers to come out on track. Here's Benny. And let's go Benny on board. In the Alpine livery. Yeah, so he's going to warm up, mate. Now, you know, as a driver, what do you do? Get your temperature in those tyres and get ready for your flying lap. Now you have a lone qualifying race, which you get how many laps again? So you get two, two to get some time. All right. So my my initial run, I just go. I just straight up go. So I come straight out of the pits and I just, I'd be driving the car like a hot lap immediately just to get everyone. There's no point for me to go and weaving about and moving a bit. I'm just straight on the brakes and hear everyone up and go. And then just launch it and try and do two runs. I don't do any of this sort of weaving that's Benny doing. Sort of, I just go. To cut tyres and everything. Everything will warm up if you drive it hard enough. So, see, he's getting some heat, he's getting some heat in these tyres. It's quite early in the day, so you probably do need some. But you get two runs and a lot of the time it's quite a lot easier to improve on your second lap than your first. But, of course, he doesn't want to end up... In the wall at turn one. Here's the hairpin. This is when you want to get a good exit right now because this is it. This is your straight line speed. Now he's on the power. Now no more warm up time. We're going to go on board with him. You can see that line, red line right now as he'll start his flying lap. Over to you, Wes. Here we go then. This is technically turn one. Stay all the way to the right. A little bit of a camera to the corner. Now pick your braking point for technically turn one. No, first time you have to hit the brakes. Find the apex of the corner. Try not to hit that outside wall. Is it really understeer towards it? Now, tight to the left, tight to the right. Careful, trying to clip that wall there, but don't actually touch it. These ones are a bit of a slow corner, but you try and go all the way to the exit of the wall. Break again over the curves. A little bit of a moment from the rear there, and again drive towards the wall. 
now. A little bit more time to think about this one, but back to the other side of the road. Hit the brakes, turn and find the apex, drive again out towards the wall, just like that. Now, the other side of the road again, same thing, but this time there's a tire wall, so try not to hit that one. Or the inside wall, it's quite nicely done. Probably can carry a bit more speed through there. One of the longest straights here that's not home straight. Now, find the braking again, should be around about now. It's the brakes turn in a lot of curve, trying to miss all the bumps because you can easily end up on that wall. These ones are a bit slow, double apex, don't mind giving up that corner for this one. Also, you have to set it up for the hairpin. Lot to lock, don't accelerate too early because you could spin around. It's kind of a decent lap, I can see cars beating this one and to the right as he tries to shorten the run to the line to do 15.2 and we did see 13s in quality so Kevin immediately beats it. Again, a bit of a few moments on that lap for Benny, I must say. His rear end stepped out a bit in turn one. He had a lot of understeer towards the wall. So a few moments as uh, Enzo goes P2 just in front of Leon. And Theo's done a good first sector and a good third sector. So he's on a good one. See, quite bumpy there. Lots of oh, curve, yeah. but he's committed. Very bumpy in these cars. Right, he has to give up these two corners, basically, because you're just setting up for the hairpin. Perfect. It looked it's a little slow nice. there, didn't it? But uh, it got, I guess uh, he's in and heavy out. Yeah, it's on flat now. Especially. Right, onto his second lap as well. It's a good last sector. Is that pole for now? I'd you say bet. it is. You better bloody believe it is, my friend. Look at that. Bang. Half a second as well. At Polo. Finishing up his. Let's go to Polo. Try to find the uh, Portuguese driver. He's in the fastest fast. Fast. Yeah, yeah. Fast yeah. Benny's on the fly up. Uh, second. He's second, Benny's second lap. This will be it. Where's he going to put himself? Does he improve on his first time? He does. So it goes P4, and that's the best he's going to do. Kevin, what about Frankie? We have a new a new one here, a new driver. I don't even know. Frankie Fran Franca Ch 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 Chica? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a name that... Uh, who was it? One of the other commentators absolutely ah. loves to say it. Just for just for fun. How do you uh, say Frank it? Frankie's back. Uh, I think it's Frank Fincheta. Fincheta. Is, yeah, they, oh, they always love to say it. Look at his livery. Lever. It's lovely, isn't it? He, um, on one of his cars, I think he has a flamingo on it. I just thought it was a plain pink nice. car with a flamingo, but now it's got a little bit of a rainbow on the front of it too. Yeah. It looks lovely. He's going across. Again. All those improving. Yeah, there's improvement. Some cars out there. Theo... Has crossed the line to not improve, so he's going to stay where he is. But Paulo again. Theo got P1 actually. Currently, moment. Let's Paulo. Paulo might steal this one. Yeah, you're right. The Portuguese driver. He's got experience around here, obviously in the F3s, F4s. Good last sector two. Is it good enough? Yep. It's good enough. Yep, damn right it is. Let's have a look at Frankie. He's going to finish his lap. Oh, that's an understeer. That is a lot of understeer there. Yep. Cool. That's a yeah. That's. Looking a handful to drive there, Frankie. A lot of understeer everywhere in that last section. Comes to the line. He's done. He's got another lap to go. Aiden, uh, six tenths off. Carlos. Let's have a look at Carlos as he finishes his lap at the moment there. Mateo is also on a finishing the third sector. Carlos doesn't really improve too much. What about Mateo? Yeah, Mateo's about two seconds off the bubble, but Frankie's uh, not really improving too much on his first sector. Aiden's out there as well. Who should we follow, mate? Um, possibly Aiden's the one that could... I don't know, even he's, it. I think, done his times. This is Carlos and Frankie now. Yeah, Liam Kerr and Frankie are out there. But, you know, Liam's not out there, actually, is he? So Liam might be starting back again. William's done two runs, Enzo's, well they've only done one each actually, but they've gone to the pits, so their quality's over. So I think it, Carlos is technically, is his quality's over, he's just out there to ah. the run time now. And so then, it's all down to Frank, he's the last one on a time that could, would count, unless he's found somewhere to cut, but he looks like he's having a horrible time of it Ooh. in the last sector again. Yeah. The DRS activation, no! there on the side. Uh, why do they have DRS on this track, by the way, too? Because Formula 1 don't even go here. Frankie I assume get... just in case you do a lot of it, Frankie goes P11. And that's that for qualifying, I'd say, with a minute to go. No one's coming out to do any more times. Frankie might stay out to just to get some laps in, because he seems like he's 
suffering from some horrendous understeer. Well, he just joined really late too, didn't he, during the qualifying session? Yeah, so it's always good. He didn't even do practice, London. as far as what I saw. I didn't see him in the practice. Yeah, it looks like a handful to drive, but he's getting there. Again, Liam will start from the back then. 14 cars in this one. We should get our qualifying results coming in here for a second. As we're looking at the wonderful bay area there in Long Beach. I'm going to go for a bit. I think we should take one of those multi-million dollar, one of those yachts out there for a spin, mate, after this. Get some, uh, if it's a beautiful day like this, what are we doing sitting up in the, in the commentary box? Should be down yeah, there on the, on the river. I've never been on a boat, so I'll happily have a go. Really? You never been on a boat? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Hey, qualifying results be up for you. Everybody check that one out there and for the grid. Here we go then. Paul Oak will start on pole. The Portuguese driver, followed by Theo in P2. Kevin takes P3 as he decides that Formula 3 is for him, not Formula 4. Aiden will take P4. He won earlier today. William P5 also won earlier today, so look out for those two. Benny in P6. Enzo P7, Leon P8, Andy in P9, Ascari P10, Frankie takes P11, along with Carlos in P12. Mateo will be P13, and Liam will round up in P14, hoping to not get involved in some of the drama that we saw in the Formula 4 racing earlier today. So two 20-minute races. They are now lining up on the grid, but got a lot of quite a few cars missing from the grid at the moment. Absolutely. Let's have a look in a second. We should be able to get something happening on the grid. There it is. Going to hide their photo because it's a little too large. I zoomed that one in a little bit so we can see who we're following, of course, during the race, most of the time for the drivers. So you guys, the spectators out there, are well aware of it. Change it over to intervals, of course. So we'll keep the gains up there as well, see what they're going to gain. This is the first heat race. 20 minutes for these F3s. They'll have to do around Long Beach. Don't worry about the uh, nighttime settling in. Because we're during the daytime conditions here. Here we go then. And the driver's just saying good luck to each other and everyone behave. Kevin telling them all to be sensible. But, um... Everyone having a little chat before they get going. 20 seconds and it's now... Here we go then. Everybody is on the grid. 14 cars lined up. I think actually 13. I think Liam's on the grid. Here we go. And the light... Coming on. We're away. Who gets the best start? It's Theo from P2. Definitely gets the best start. Liam is on the grid. He's only taking two cars off the start line. Theo gets the best start. Will he get turn one? No, he's just ahead. He's ahead now. If he can cover it off. Kevin's getting involved. They're nearly touching as they hit the brakes for the first time. It's free wide in the background. As Enzo through. And they're side by side for the lead. I think the position will eventually go to oh. Theo. Kevin's got involved. Kevin has taken Paula out. And there's chaos behind. There's cars around everywhere. Somebody's going across the grass in the roundabout. And it was... Who was it? And Tatman that was round behind. So a bit of chaos. But P2 and P3 are launching into each other at the roundabout. Bit of a traffic round. Who goes first? William in P5. Everybody through, he's just behind Benny. We're just behind Aiden and Enzo. So it's Theo and Enzo are away. The two brothers, one, two. Didn't have worked out any better for them. And the tap man's already gone to the pits. I'm not sure who he, he was collected by. Liam's already up to P8 and looking on Iscari there. So it's a good start from Liam already. Wow, six positions, a really good start from him ready on the back of Ascari so it's gone way better than any other Formula 4 races and he's got him there on the exit if he can keep it in a straight line he should be through but then they're going to be side by side we saw them earlier side by side in the Formula 4s in the exact same situation they both ended up missing turn 1 so let's see if they've learned from earlier the inside is Ascari's but who can get the corner and Liam breaks a little later and Ascari this time has learned where the point is and did somebody find the wall in front of them I think everybody has just about pointing the right way still in front so they seem fine top two pretty close but Liam now up to P7 already on the back of Leon already he's really carving through the field here is Liam looks to the outside will he launch up the inside he looks and does up the inside Leon doesn't fight it Liam into P6 sure he touched the wall there but he's very close to Scurry now Looking to try and pass Leon as well. Waits for a better chance, maybe on the exit. 
pulls to the inside. Pulls back in a bit from the slipstream. Does he come back out and try to move? He does. Up the inside he goes. Mind the bump on the corner. And up the inside. He's not through. Leon stays around the outside and keeps P7 for now. It's a really wide line there from Scarry, but to give up for now. We'll try again later. As people are heading into the pits. Williams headed into the pits. So, so Tom did hit the wall then. William must have hit the wall on the last lap on turn one as he's headed into the pit lane voluntarily. So mistake from him puts him out of the positions. Puts Liam up to P5. And another position. Paulo. Even though he was involved in the first lap crash, has now just set the fastest lap of the race in P11. So clearly not too much damage caused by him and Kevin having their incident. Let's get back to replay that one real quick there of what happened with Paulo at the start. And let's have a look. Man that was on pole. This is where it's all gone pole shaped somewhere along here. So Fio gets a better start. Some of the rev merch rise. Yeah. Fio will get the better That's... initial launch. And then Kevin's the one to watch. Because Kevin also gets quite a good run, but he does in the background too. Kevin will get the slipstream from the front too. So let's have a little bit of a look. These two will stay side by side through turn one, but it's into the into the roundabout section here as Paulo has to give up the position to Theo. And then Kevin. Oh, he's locked up! Oh, he's, yeah. oh, he's locked a little up and then he's gone on the grass. And, yeah, they've got away with that pretty well, but then Paulo's stuck. Kevin and they've got to wait to reverse together. The dolphins in the roundabout are not that impressed. Well, the dolphin had a, had a bird's eye pin, didn't it? Right there. Dolphin cam, per se. Apollo is back at the moment and in this little bit of a party. So William went into the pits and then it says he's crashed, so I'm not sure what's happened for William then. There is Paulo. There he is. Fighting his way back, plenty of time, of course. Uh, we have uh, what, you know, four minutes and change into this 20 minute heat round, first one. And we do know the Portuguese driver, mate, uh, just puts his head down and gets the job done anytime he possibly yeah, he can. Yeah, he doesn't mess around. He, he will go for a move and there's a gap. He's not at the best corner there. He's actually oh. lost his front left wheel, and that's yeah. that. And that's Kevin through, and that's Paulo's day over, and he's going to find the title there. There we go. And that's Paulo's day over. Oh, Formula 3. We have some quick times. But yeah, just caught. Just took too much of the... Well, too much of the track and found the wall. Best way to put it. Benny there. On the back of Aiden. Poor P3. Cars scraping along the floor there. I think as well we're having so many crash signs. I think the cars are damage or not. damaged. Go back to Kevin. And Matteo. There's a battle for P10. Currently at the moment, that was Paul I was involved in this party, but look at this right now, Andy. There you go, Kevin up the Kevin. inside, breaks a lot later, and we'll find turn and pass Mateo for P10. You'd have to say it's a lot cleaner than what it was in the uh, F4s earlier, so we didn't have the massive incidents that we've had already. We've just had a couple of crashes, but uh, still so far so good. Oh, Mateo, Mateo in the background there has clipped yeah. the entire wall, and that's that. Mateo, and I think Kevin was close to the wall, but Mateo found it and lost to the whole left side of his car. Put the back up, Benny. That's the number five car. I have the bumps. The German driver's got Aiden Young up the road there, the local hometown hero from the United States of America. He's in a pretty good performance there in the F4s. Let's we'll say we can handle the F3s. Lurking in the background is our Aussie man, the honey badger, Mr. Liam Kerr. Up a lot of places here. Scari's crashed at the hairpin, unfortunately for him. I'm not sure if he's done what he did at the end of the Formula 4 race and maybe clipped the inside of the hairpin. But that's sent him down the order, and Kevin has gone past him for P9. It's free negotiate the first few corners. Still, the brothers are leading this race comfortably up the road there. Not that comfortably, but still okay. Controlling, right, maintaining it. Liam's now in, really putting the pressure on the Australian driver. As you can yeah, he's see, around Red Bull livery. He's got Aiden up the road there. Oh, 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 he's gone for it. Look at that. Oh, they're both still there. Oh, no, hey, oh, no, Liam. He's clipped him. He's put Benny out. That was aggressive, I think, by both of them. It was an aggressive launch up the inside from 
Liam, which I thought was fair. Then Benny decided, no, you're not having that. And that's, look at that. That's yeah. a destroyed car from Liam. Look at the way he's going to be completely result. turning to the right, even though the car's Absolutely turning crabbing. to the left. Yeah, oh, look, look at about it. that. You don't see a car like that often in, well, Formula racing anyway. And now Leon's going to try and find yeah. a safe way by. Um, and he's going to, there you go, up the inside. Oh, that is a destroyed <laughs> car. He trust me, he's not anybody. He's just still trying, but he can't turn it now. He's trying to get to the pit lane in time. That's right, it doesn't have to be a three point turn. The car's turning on its own. He does find the pit lane. And then he goes. Frankie will go through. What about Kevin Maybe. now? Look at the Kevin on Frankie. All those crashed in the background as well. As uh, he's dropped it on the exit of the hairpin. Kevin will got the inside now of. Carlos and through he goes up into P6, suddenly Kevin back in the race. About three minutes ago, I would say he wasn't, but there you go. I'm intrigued to see that move again from Liam, because it was a fair racing move, but I just want to see, because I thought he had it done, but Benny just decided to come back at him, and well, which is completely entitled to do. I assume Liam must have hit the inside wall with his rear tyre, and then yeah, look at that, he must have collected, look at that, that's... Oh no, this is early, it's early, we need to look at it, isn't it? That was where they were already damaged, let's have a look. It was Leon and Benny that crashed. Let's go back. Here it is, I think it was. This is Benny, there's Leon behind. There was another crash up the road here from these two guys, I think. If I'm not mistaken. This was earlier. There's a lock up there. But does he, yeah, the other car, so it counts that as a crash, so that's the crash with Benny then. Right, so... Here we go then, what we're going to see then is, well, it's later in the lap isn't it, there he goes yeah. in the move, so it's quite a bit later, but it's a scrape along the floor here. We'd speed it up a little bit perhaps and see how it gets closer. So, it's in the next few corners, he doesn't wait long, but Liam's moving around quite a lot, he really is, he does fill people's mirrors doesn't he, he's all yeah. over the back of him. And he doesn't, doesn't even think for a second, he just goes, you know what? Yeah, gone. There you go. Oh, Up the inside. Yeah. Benny will be there. Look, there so he is. clips the wall. Yeah, so yeah. Liam definitely clips the wall with his inside left. And then because of that, he just... Well, look at the car. Look at it. It's ruined. And he then takes out Benny with him. Sadly, Benny did nothing wrong other than defend his position. Theo and Enzo. Lots of action, yeah. And the Enzo, well, the, the Gila, Gila, how do you pronounce their surname? Sorry, the uh, uh Gilardini brothers, I think. Gilardini brothers, decided. yeah, comfortably P1 and P2. Good, but obviously, Enzo getting five positions, and Theo getting one because we saw what happened there with Paulo. Uh, with uh, no little best of launches, but Paulo is still in this race currently in P12. 10 minutes are halfway through this race right now of our first heat race out there, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Welcome on, East Door Racing. Second day of anti-store racing F1s were done and dusted yesterday, and now we've got the F3s and F4s. The F4s a little bit earlier. We had uh, lots of incidents there. We had uh, run out of sunlight, didn't we? Towards the end yeah. of the second heat race. We ran out a lot um, of sunlight. A few drivers did actually look at it. I've seen a few drivers did actually. Mention that, and there's Mateo. Oh. He just had an incident, but he's staying well out of the way. Passing cars. Yeah, and Mateo's little crash here. Let's have a look at that. That's uh, Mateo probably coming back from another crash, another spin, another speed. Just got that going. I'm guessing the car is ruined. Let's see as he gets going. His front wing looks a bit damaged. Let's see as he then turns through a bit. Just gonna, he's going to loop on him, isn't it? Wow, yep, something's wrong yeah. there. Yeah. He stayed there while the other leaders went straight through about now. I think they should be coming around here. He yeah, waited, he yep. He stays coming, waits nicely. Well out of the way. Yeah, there they are. So further back, the uh, Theo and Enzo. Who's the number one driver on those teams? Well, at the moment. They're pretty happy to stay side by side. I can yeah. tell you now, nobody. I think these two will race if it comes to it. Probably two brothers. You, everyone knows you can't tell them not to race. They will race. Oh, he's at the... Oh, that was just maybe a latency glitch there. It just looked like his whole rear wing was off there, but it wasn't from Theo. Just from my camera perspective. Who got the fastest lap, Did you then? see the, the damage there? Is sure. Theo's, but... <laughs> Theo has the fastest lap, but Enzo's definitely been a bit quicker on this lap anyway. But he's keeping his brother honest, which is good. Good close race in the front. 
Aiden Young in P3. A little bit behind, you can see them yeah. at least. I can't show those sector times for you to kind of get an idea what the indication is between them. Yeah, he was down way, way quick around the first sector, but a little bit off in the second, uh, third, but yeah, he's quicker, so maybe Theo had a mistaken, you know, what we saw it actually, we saw the roundabout in the end of a moment, so I don't know why. But yeah, definitely a quicker time from Enzo. He's matched his bet, he's just put his PB in on that last lap, so yeah, he's on it. Enzo's driving quickly, back of his brother's tail, pushing him on. Now, the last time they got a 1 2, it sadly got reversed in the steward's room, so. This is also the difficult part, isn't it? Because pushing each other also, aka, means pushing each other to a mistake. We've seen that from every driver, really, this evening. In any store racing, regardless if you're in an F4 car or an F3 car, it's just being chased or being the chaser equals a little bit of tank slapper, and all of a sudden, you're uh, battling down back where Matteo and Paulo are, but he's only one out of this race so far in retirement. But he's got another race to come up later. Look at the track map, mate. It's spread out so much already because of this pit lane, the pits and damage that a lot of those drivers have had to occur. But if they stay like this, they... They will be the first brothers, I believe, in... And he's still to go one, two, big moment for Enzo there. Lights it all up, blocks it all up to keep it straight, and he's now given his brother a bit of space, but stays in second. But yeah, if they stay like this, they will get the first one too, because last time it got reversed in the steward's room. At this moment in time, I don't think either one of those two have done anything wrong for that to happen. So if he just stays ahead of Aiden, a good result for those two. Kevin now, on the back of Frankie. Yeah. Okay, on this lap. As Frankie says, relax, relax. Kevin's going to go for up the inside here then. There you go. Simple move, but it's not done. Like, oh, thank you. I'll stay ahead of you. It'll be a bit of a more aggressive move maybe from Kevin there to get through. It's only round four of the season. I'm not talking certain who is the title challenges this season but um, as we've seen I think so far this season it's been a bit mixed well, he, up in all of the formulas you had a 10 hour flight mate what were you doing on the flight did you watching those uh, in, in in flight movies and not paying attention to what was going on the season ah well, watching you know watching the end of uh, Stranger Things to see you know, catch up on all that uh, Kevin now up the inside this time when he go through he's done just before the corner so Kevin is up to P5 now, I thought you were actually like sitting there, uh, greasing up the plane itself, pulling the uh, the lifting the bonnet off the plane there, and adjusting the uh, changing the oil of the of the Rolls Royce engines. Oh, I would I wouldn't want to. I mess with car engines. I wouldn't want to touch a plane one just in case. I know how things can go, so I'll leave yeah, that would, up to the. Uh, that, that'd be great for a poll right now, we could throw up. Wouldn't it? Would you trust Wes uh, doing your uh, aircraft maintenance? If you're going to fly across the Atlantic, here you go. Yes or no, I, that'd be a great poll. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd take a, a nice life jacket and a whistle with you, just in you, case. You, you were talking about it to me earlier, obviously, guys, because there's not a lot of action happening at the moment on track. But, uh, yeah, I, I remember one time when we, we pulled the differential off my friend's car one time, and we, we were, you know, pulling it off there, and, and I, I'm not sure we were, we were adjusting something with it. And we put it back in. And we did one little mistake wrong because I tell you what, when we went down that we got took the car out for it was his car, we took the car out on on the highway. I was at the middle of kind of like outback Australia too, so there's not a lot of traffic around. And then we hear this Ooh, and it gets louder and louder and louder. And all of a sudden the car locks up, like you hit a handbrake. And then we go into a luckily we go into a bit of a spin. He he cracks it quite well. We're on an open highway road, so there's nobody other cars out there. We go into a spin, didn't hit anything, run off the track, and then we realized that we forgot to put oil in the, di the diff. Oh, no. <laughs> and so that's what the whiting was. The whiting was the actual, obviously, the, the cogs seizing, yeah. welding together. And, of course, it just locks completely. Yeah, locks, and that's that. And that was it. So, yeah, that was a little yeah. bit of a silly moment. That happens, but, hey, it happens. And luckily, nobody got hurt. That was the main thing. Yeah. But a, new, a, new, a, a trip to the wreckers and getting a new rear differential was the case after that one. I've got, got to get a new diff later this year and put it in a gearbox and have a, have a good fun with that one, so I can't wait to 
look, look inside the gearbox. Could be worse, my way. brother. You know, I got a, got a new turbo timer for my GTR Skyline and went out for uh, a test of it. He's my brother's like, yeah, yeah, he's a bit of a rev head and you know, has worked on cars as well. He's like, yeah, we'll go test the boost. You got to set it all up on your turbo timer, of course. And uh, blew up both my, both my turbos. <laughs> Revving it a little bit too much. Both the turbos, of course, aren't cheap on a GTR Skyline. No. Yeah. Not. So, blew them up. As we're looking at Frankie's lovely livery there at the moment, currently Frank running a P6 with not a lot of practice that he'd put in. I'm seeing some crashes at the moment from drivers. I said he crashed there, but it did not crash. He just went a little bit too deep. Yeah, just had a crash. Yeah, it's a bit of a Is that was his Oh, he's got traffic up the road here. So I didn't see this. Must be a lap car, Polo. Or was this a battle? Yeah. Uh, so this was lap. Definitely lap yeah. traffic. And, um... What's happened He's here? Oh. The, oh, same move, but yeah. he did not keep the rear that time. The rear up. That's going to hurt. Let's go back to Carlos, who's also made a mistake. Yeah, that was okay. I guess he was trying to avoid having to crash into Polo there. He knew he went a little bit too deep on the brakes. And here we go, Carlos with the old Minardi livery. That was the first car that uh, Mark Webber had drove in Formula 1. And Mark Webber finished fifth in Australia. A Minardi, could you believe that? That's because everybody crashed out that year in Australia. Remember that big crash? The cars went flying to turn one. Years oh, ago. Yes. That was that was the year that he uh, and that was Mark Webber's first year. And he got uh, yeah, he got a fifth place. So that was uh, pretty in the slowest car on the grid. So pretty impressive. Got to be in it to win it. That's what I say. Yeah, fully. I think it was actually pretty pretty pacey. I'd have to say too, compared to some of the other cars. Anyway, brothers are still at it. I don't require pit stops because this is the last lap almost. Uh, do you think the Enzo's going to go for it now, Theo? Who's the older, the younger brother? We don't know, right? Uh, they're matching each other's best lap times they're matching. Theo's had a moment in the last lap where he lost a second and a bit. So, yeah, a bit under pressure, I'd say, Theo. As he's touched the wall on the way in, but he's fine. So, the pressure's getting there, but it's right because right, his brother's the one behind him. It's just whether he will... I don't think he will launch a move unless it's a certainty. I think that's the key here. Are they going to slow up a little bit? How close are they on time? They should get around to start the final lap. Uh, let's see. See on the track map, yeah. They're P1 and P2. Are they going to slow it down? They could slow it down in the race now. Or are they going to cross the line? Just... It's yes. a bit white flag. Three seconds to go, but white flag then. They could have slowed it out down there and they could have just said that was it. But they've gone for one more. And it does that mean Enzo can launch it up the inside? It does! He's not going to do that, surely. And he doesn't. They stay as they are, but he's... he's yeah, he's putting the pressure on his brother. <laughs> Look at this. Gearbox camera right now from Theo. Leading this race, getting one position. Enzo, his brother. Just down the road there, bouncing that Red Bull livery, at least off the 29 car. And now he's a final opportunity if he wants to be either the number one or number two driver in the team. Well, in the brothers, yeah, in, in the interwar family battle, per se. Yeah. You always want to beat your teammate, but you always want to beat your brother, too, as he touches the wall there. Rather than racing my brother, always wanted to beat him. Absolutely. I must admit that one. <laughs> it's not always been the case, especially when the other the younger ones are. It's like you've got something to prove, but all over the back of him, he's going to push him right to the end, but the, it's going to be a one-two for the brothers as they both get a bit out of shape into the last corner. Oh, yeah, that absolutely. Is well. Yeah, but it'll be it'll be the Theo that'll be the brother leader, per se, and get the job done. And either, we have to ask him, obviously. I'll have to find out later if they are the older or younger brother. I'm the youngest brother out of two older brothers, so I always want to beat my older brothers, of course, and it doesn't really matter. You always want to beat your brothers, you said. Yeah, and you always uh, want to beat your brothers. And uh, Aiden takes P3. Leon's going to hold on to P4. Kevin just by uh, six times back in P5. Frankie's going to take P6. Carlos will take P7. And I think Ascari has had a crash, but he also should still be okay. Out there in P8. He's, he's, rue, he's lost the rear left, so he's crawling to the line. 18 trouble. seconds behind yeah. him is William. Yeah, that's William's William. going to get him. He's definitely going to get him. Look at that. Tires slapping all around the place. Completely oh. lost drive. Here comes William. Around the outside, it takes P8 yep. and pole for the second race of the day as well. That's crucial. 
Ascari's going to be annoyed at that. He's just dropped pole on the final up there. William say thank you very much. Will he lose to Paulo? No, he won't, I don't think. No, Paulo's already yeah. crossed the oh, line. And spun. round Ascari goes. Yeah. Just crawl it to the line. And you'll get P9. Yeah, get out and push the car if you have to, mate. It used to be legal, yeah, isn't it? They can actually push the cars across the line, but yeah. I don't think now. They're quite light. Well, as long as you put oil in the gearbox in the differential so it doesn't lock up, you'll be okay. You can't put yeah, that, you can't put that sucker in neutral. doesn't matter at that point. <laughs> yeah, well, the wheels are a lot There you go. The flag waving it. Scar <laughs> he got it. Pop. Gets to the line. There you go. Flag man is waving quicker than the vehicle moving, but this guy gets to the line. Really does yeah. diff that in the wall somewhere. Results are up. Leo yeah, then takes it from Enzo. One and two for the brothers. Aiden takes P3, Leon P4, Kevin P5, Frankie P6, Carlos P7. William will take pole in the next one and P8 in this race. Scari does get to the line in P9. Paulo takes P10, Matteo P11. Liam takes 12th and 13th for Andy and 14th in the end for Benny after the crash with Liam. Well, well, it's going to get uh, all spicy again. This will be the very last race that we're going to have now for our uh, second uh, Tuesdays so of course the F2 F3s and F4s so who wants to take the final race really the end of the day who wants to survive more of anything isn't it here anti-saw racing at Long Beach it's going to be just a survival of the fittest if you get a good launch away like those brothers did before you can dominate this race go ahead mate here we go then Lights coming on. William is on pole. Who gets the best launch? And they're away. And it's a good start from William. A good start from Leon in the background. He's going to try and immediately get Frankie. Kevin's got a good launch. He's going to try and get second into turn number one. Liam in the background. Moving all over, I think. Go behind the building. We're back. Kevin will be up the inside of Carlos. Everyone hits the brakes. Frankie's got deep. Scarry's taken two free cars with him. He's taken Theo out. He's taken... Uh, I think he's taking Theo and Enzo with him there and, and possibly Aiden. So, a mistake there from Ascari. Yep, taking a few and a few. Oh, oh no, and round it goes, Leon! He gets clipped, but he's round. It's all gone pole shaped already, hasn't it? Ah, Ascari's got damage as well. What about Frankie? Yeah. Frankie's through safe. He's got Liam behind him. That's a scenario we've seen just before, haven't we? William leading this race there from Kevin. But this is it, Liam, uh, the, the other Liam, sorry, I mean Kevin William leading this race, not Kevin, Liam. Liam is uh, currently at the moment, you can see him running a P5, a P4 car. So, hey mate, P4 is my position. Frankie says, uh, well, we'll see about that, my friend. Good launch it. Oh, oh he's locked it all up, not him. Done well. Well, we'd expect it. Pit lanes again and again and again and again for the first lap, oh. so... Kevin now putting pressure on that race leader. I he's think... Like, oh, he's made a mistake. He's made a big mistake. It's going to cost him a little bit of time. What about Liam? He's kept out the wall. He's kept out the wall. Yeah, he did. It's got a little bit greedy on the loud paddle, but uh, he exactly didn't go around. He's just got to bring him into this party pack right now between Frankie that party livery and it's a slide he from goes. Liam can Liam keep it out of the fence oh I don't know it kind of looked like he did or he didn't he's had to back up he's going to yeah, lose some places sure he did or he didn't there. I think the front wing looks fine I think he's got away with it yeah, well a mistake his own there it gives us probably a little bit of time to go back to see what all the action at the start of this race then was yeah mate. I think if Scarry makes a mistake into the turn one and takes four cars with him yeah let's have uh, a look two brothers and eight Go. The cars are in front of him, so he's got two brothers ahead of him. He's got Liam to his outside. As he breaks them, what's he do? Is the cars coming down the inside? Oh, he's oh, no. just, yeah. yeah, he just misses brake slightly there and takes a few with him. I thought there was a lot of colour cars behind. Let's have a look at Paula's perspective. Yeah, Paula's going to get involved in this. He's going to get innocently taken out by Scar as well, I think here is. Scar hits the brakes too late. Do you see him take the Red Bull out in front of us? Yep, there it is. And then Aiden Young as well, and then he's just team. had to wait. There's just cars everywhere, so he's just having to wait. Go back to Enzo's point of view here in the Red Bull. 
He's a little bit further up, I believe. Yeah, he's going to get collected yeah. then. Oh no, we're going to get a nice punt round. He goes, we hit the brakes, and Ascari's going to just... He comes off the brakes too early, Ascari. Yeah. He releases the pedal, and... Yeah. There's five cars in believed in at that. And, oh, it looks like the red... Oh, as it look, oh yeah, Polo also gets tapped as he tries to get... Sneaks through. And he gets Ooh. collected double time. Let's go back I to think, the live entertainment. Uh, I think um, Frankie had a crash. So Frankie's now in the pits too. So he was running, what, P4, I think, maybe. Frankie is... I don't know if he dropped on his own, but he had Liam behind him before Liam dropped it. And then I think on his own, Frankie may have had a nice... Uh, invite date with the wall. I see Frankie? I see Frankie, I didn't see that. Is that that same corner? Or is uh, it I don't know where after? he dropped it. He's, uh, oh yeah, Frankie, let's have a look. This is when he has Liam behind him. Yeah. Unless Liam caught up that quickly. Yeah. Oh, no, close, yeah, this is he was ahead of Liam and let's have a look. Because Liam spun, remember, a couple of laps earlier or a lap earlier. This might have been the case where Liam did spin after him. He might have spun the second time after that. That might have been not been the incident. But he has he has crashed only the second time. Yeah, Frankie has crashed the second time. We're looking at it a little bit earlier moment. Let's have a look after that. Where's Frankie here? Now, Frankie was running, I think he was running a nice uh, P4, I think, before this moment. He was fine, so I wonder what happens here. Maybe he just... Oh! Yeah. He carried Ooh. way too much speed yeah. and realising... That's what's happened. Yeah. Now, Andy had... It looked like it said Andy had a crash. Now, Andy's down the road from this. So, obviously, at this point, Frankie's up the road. Andy's at... He's probably going to be a bird's eye view of seeing that crash, and that's what that's all that is. And he's had to react to it, and he's okay. I think yeah. Aiden Young has also put it in the wall, but I think Aiden was one of those cars that was already in the pits anyway from the first lap, so Aiden's had a, another. Paulo's had another drama. moment too, mate. Portuguese driver, but we'd say he's had an eventful weekend, but he's currently running in P6, so was this just a little bit of a. Small moment. He hasn't got. I don't think he think he went the pit lane. So he's okay to live, see another day. Maybe that's just going too deep, as you'd mentioned. That's what happens yeah. when it kind of triggers that trash crash point. Trash in it. And good. See, he's still on track. He's still currently running at the moment. Liam's got the fastest lap. But where is the battle? There it is, right there. Kevin and Andy, a little bit further down the road. So two battles to look at. Ooh. And it's crashed. And it's crashed. Liam was on him, so I don't know if he's been scared off the road, but... Yeah. Let's have a look what yeah, happened there. Let's see, so Liam's just behind. He's not close enough to do any moves, so it's Andy on his own then. And is it looping already? No, maybe not then. So it's the next corner. He's just going to go too deep, isn't he? And clip the... Oh, yeah. Oh, heavy wow, impact. Yeah. More than... Oh, Liam avoids really well. That's more than a clip, that one. That's... He's buried himself in there. Yes, yeah, slight moments. Liam cra Liam's also crashed as well. Liam Kerr, it looked like it said there, or Ascari. Maybe that's just one of those. They're still running currently P4, P5. Oh, and there's William going around. That's well, William. Keeps out, keep, keep uh -huh. out of the wall, but that's Kevin's lead now, and it's a three points, and eventually. Uh, so what's happened? Let's go on board with William. Oh, Liam spun behind him. Oh. Liam has spun following William. <laughs> Liam has spun following William, somehow. Uh, maybe a reaction to William. Let's have a look. We were looking at Liam going through the roundabout. Oh, that's a tank oh, slapper. That's all that is. Yep. He's still going. And it turns in, maybe, yeah. oh, it hits a load of curb, and he yeah. goes round two. That wasn't a reaction to William's spin. Um, Let's go back to William's spin know. and have a look on board with William, and where he made that little a bit of an error. Was it clipping? That no, wasn't clipping the wall there. He had a nasty yeah, spin around here, isn't it? I think coming up soon. Yeah, it's right here. It's going to yeah. power down too yeah, soon. There it is. Oh, it's the bump. What the bump? But no damage. So that's more important. It's to live to see another day. Yeah, I think damage, Carlos, Carlos has had a crash number as well. Let's have a look at Carlos. He's out by himself there, the 17 car. Carlos is currently running a P2. This could just be a little clip on that. You get here from the Minardi Ozjet 
livery. I don't think Ozjet's even running anymore, mind you, as, a, as an airline. Lock up there. Uh, that's probably all that is there for that. Uh, Andy says Andy's had a moment too. Andy is going very slow in the pit lane, so Andy must have had a crash somewhere. Action, action, and action, mate. It's another Hollywood movie, is it? Here in, well, almost down the road there from Hollywood. It's Long Beach. Feels like you're in a movie set, doesn't it? Well, Carlos now in P2, finding himself, you know, keeping out of trouble and into the second position once again. So, just like earlier in the Formula 4s, doing a good job. Lots of understeer through the last section. There's several cars out, more than six uh, out of this one. So, it is survival of the fittest here in Long Beach. Can't wait to see what happens in the GT3s, you know. It's an hour long race and there is literally fast one, fast repair. Other than that, that's it. So there's going to be absolutely oh, yeah. chaotic when they come. That will be, mate. We've seen a couple of turns, haven't we? Turn one and those hairpin yeah. turns. Like, you, you get a couple of cars bunched up in there. There's nowhere to go. That AKA equals. Uh, one, one could be absolutely yeah. crazy, I think, in those GT3s if we have more than 20 cars trying to head through these couple of corners. Oof. Like Sunday it's, driving. It's really the is. bounces. Now, you know that the GT3s are really going to bounce, aren't they? It's coming in like it's porpoising, but natural. Not the Formula 1 porpoising. And you can see, we saw the F4s are a lot lighter, so they don't really bounce as much in the field of bumps on, on the Long Beach circuit like we're seeing right now with the F3s. The F3s are really feeling it. And imagine what the GTs, the heavier cars, they're really going to be lifting out there, mate. They're going to be getting airborne, like they're jumping like a rally car, rally course track. Yeah, they're going to have to break a little sooner, put a lot more steering angle. It's going to be a lot slower, I think, lap time-wise, especially this last section of the circuit. How slow these guys have to go. The GT3 is going to have to go impeccably slow there as William drifts his way out of the hairpin. Same with the Liam behind. I think he the wall on the exit, but he'll just wipe the rear tyres up on the exit of the corner. Slowly, little William's coming back at Carlos for P2, but he's bringing Liam with him, which started right at the back. He's uh, managed to keep out of the wars this time. He's in P4 at the moment. Yeah, he's got to get the pedal to the metal halfway through the race right now. William, we all know, it's his hometown hero here in the United States of America. That He's obviously getting some time. You can see the cars around him on track. You can see the track map at the moment. Kevin stand number one up there at the top, going down the back straight. And there it is. These guys are about to start the back straight. Right now. See William flying the car around. He's putting the power down. You can see that. He's within one second right now. That was uh, extremely close to the wall there. Really, really close to the wall, actually. He was, he was right on the limit of that one, I must say. But it's, he's getting there, he's almost there now. He needs to get a little bit close enough. He's almost there, four three attempts. He won't be able to dive on this lap, I'd say. Yeah, but he wants it, he's hunting him down, isn't it? We can know that. He could go, oh, he's, oh, he's, no, no. I thought he might have had a little look, decided against it. We don't know the damage of these cars, of course. They probably have little bits of damage, and uh, pretty much everybody at this point probably has some sort of damage. They've all been in, tapped the walls a little bit. This is bringing Liam into play, mate. So once again, the Australian Honey Badger, he's always lurking in the background, and now he's there. And I think you, if you're William, you have to know that, don't you? You have to know that you've got to get on with this. If you're quicker than Carlos, oh, yeah. get past. Otherwise, Liam is going to be looking at getting past you. But Liam doesn't hang about. Yeah. Let's go back to oh, William and have a look at that from William's point of view. We'll go on board with William and have a look at this battle up the road there of William and Carlos. That's battle for P2. Currently, the moment's helping Kevin. Kevin's loving it, going, you guys battle it out too for now. I'm happy to have an 11 second gap up the road there with eight minutes to go on this race. Last yeah, race. Liam. Liam's got the kettle there. Just try and go it right. There you go. Oh, tight. Tight exit. Oh, oh. it's not done right for Liam. He yeah. tried. Oh, he's, he tried to go for the... Uh, Wide entry in and get a really good run. He's just put too much power down. He's lost a place to Paulo as well. William will be trying to move now on Carlos. The best chance he's got. He's up the long side. He's on the inside. That should be moved done as they hit the brakes. And William will go through into P2. 
Carlos being sensible and into P3. He goes now. Liam is going to have to try and chase down Paulo after. He was trying to line them both up on the exit of the hairpin, but he just lit the tyres up and round he went. You can hear the noises of this F3 car just hitting the floor. It's just making such a racket. It's going to be really uncomfortable yeah. and difficult to drive for these cars. We'll go back to that replay and have a look at that once again from Liam. Where he can size up both his opponents, knowing he needs a good weekend. He didn't have a very good weekend in F4. Sorry, F1, F4 is not so, so good there for the Australian driver. And now F3 is not really working his way as well. Tell you one thing, Honey Badger doesn't give up his if gap car. He tries. And that one, just a little bit too greedy on his own and slaps the wall. Gets a bit of damage, but still going to commit to that, I think, for the rest of the race. And why not? Go for it. Yeah, you can see what he was trying, but just lit it up too much. Randy well, it hasn't worked there. It's putting down the P5. Is there going to be enough time, do you think, for William to do anything about Kevin? He's 12 seconds and change down the road there now. That's a big gap. Well, we've got six minutes. And no, I don't think he's going to get that gap back down. What's the lap times are? Yeah, no, they're equalish on lap times. And I think at the moment, Kevin might be lapping quicker as well. So I'd say Kevin, if he just stays like this, got one in the bag here. William did win a one earlier in the F4 race. But of course, spun while leading this one. Mateo gets up away. Well, speaking of Mateo, being a lap down, he's still a little bit down the road there from Liam, if I'm not mistaken. Unless that's just a complete lap down. Still confusing the timing tower there. Yeah, so Liam will be lapping Mateo soon. Mateo's still got Andy, to be fair, racing him for... Yeah. Yeah, the, the Frenchman with the French teams. livery there is going to let everybody through. Let Paulo through. Ooh. Doing his best. Can't to say the, he's not trying there. No, nah, it's always difficult. Let, uh, trust me, as a back marker in a race in the Formula 1, I try to get out of people's way as quickly as possible. Sometimes they catch you on the corner and you're like, where do I go? Where do I go? Especially in a street circuit. It's difficult. They're just doing your best to avoid people. Liam's trying to catch Paulo now, again. He wants to come back. We don't know how much damage the Australian driver got. Kind of looked like he tapped the wall a little bit, but he does have a little bit of the uh, latency issues, of course, being from Australia. So there's not always what you see is what you get. So far, obviously, he got the pace, so something's right. It looks like his front left tire was just rattling off almost off the suspension. Did he hit the wall there as well? Oh, I think yeah. he was driving along the wall there. Yeah. Yeah, that's Where's always reflective, is it? It's not always reflective of, of we see him kind of like, you know, jumping in and out a little bit with the latency. So it looks like he's sparking on the wall there as well, but see how it cuts in and out? That's just the... Uh, the straight. edge of his circuit is the wall. He is mm -hmm. driving along it, really on it. Yeah, I, tried, I lived in Australia, mate. I know exactly how that latency kind of destroys you a little bit. I mean, you can have the fastest internet you can have in Australia, mate. It doesn't matter. It's a 200 plus ping to but most of the European drivers that are here this evening in uh, the US. So nothing he can do about it. Just got to drive the way he can drive. Nothing he can do is just trying his artist. So it's just got, send it as well when he does have a chance. He always goes for it. He's probably got absolutely no damage on that car. Andy looks like Andy's having a little bit of fun. Lonely down the road there behind Matteo. And the bumps there. The Andy Store Racing livery there for the 25 Brit. Is this just that touch of that curve and that triggers a. Oh no, oh, no it's he's spin. lit it up. Yep. He's done that a few times now, but kept that out of the fence. He's still going to get co crucial points there. You got to remember, look at that. The outs. Scurry's in the pits. Aiden, Frankie, Leon, Enzo, Theo. Look at that. Both of the uh, French brothers, mate, are out of this race. Considering they won P1, P2 in the last one. Not getting any points right now. And Benny's also out. So, once again, race of attrition. Yeah, it's always another. Another one. It's just, it's the street circuit was always wondering how it was going to... Polo, happen. mate. Polo's always in there, isn't he? Doesn't matter how many times. This is the man that qualified on pole on this race. Didn't go the best at uh, the pole, obviously, for the first, but I'm qualifying. Still in there, getting crucial points here. And he's sizing up Carlos. If he doesn't, he's got Liam for company again. Been through this situation a few times already this season. This is race, race four. We've seen this 
over and over again. We're about to see it again. Running out of time, about two minutes as I go around the fountain for the roundabout. Roundabout. Yeah, they get, get, get into a three-way fight here for the po last podium place. Which is uh, quite a frantic one, because we know how Paulo drives, quite aggressive, as well as Liam. They, good drivers, of course, nothing wrong with being aggressive, but uh, always clashes when you get too aggressive. Carlos, I'd say, is a lot more... Um, Ah, uh, what's the word there? He's, he's, he's a lot calmer behind the wheel. He's just, you know, going to throw an aggressive move up the inside. He's patient. Whereas Liam and Paulo give him a half chance. And they will put their car there. So, we see, Williams crash from P2. So oh. this fight is now, there he goes. They've just passed him. This fight is now fourth second in the race. So this is going to get interesting. With probably a lap to go. Let's have a look what happened to William. Final lap then. Oh, what does William do? He's throwing this one away, unfortunately. Just a little bit of air. He's got no pressure. There's a bit of a gap down the road. He's going to go on the bumps as he breaks and turns in. It's not there. Yep, he's yep. gone already. That'll allow uh, everybody out through. Of the so go back, but this is where it's at. So this could be almost one of the final laps. Where is our race leader? Our race leader right, is going in my straight. I believe the final lap was seen, but the guy was waving his flag. The William Liam has hit the wall. His rear left. Look at his rear left crushed. Look at it. It's flapping yep. about the rear right left wheel. That's not going to give him all the speed in the world. That's going to be uncomfortable to drive. He's still somewhat got the power there, but no, he's yeah. definitely loose on that car. He definitely hit the wall. And it could be one of those uh, latency glitches. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Yep, this yeah, is this it. This is it. Final lap, here we go, final couple of corners. Kevin will win race two here, but who's going to get second? Who's going to get third? Up the inside goes Liam, it's fair. Oh, a bit of a big moment. One corner to go after this one. In the hairpins, surely no moves from anybody. I think Liam might be on our inside. He is, there he is. He's through, Liam's taken third on the final corner. Carlos gets second, Liam gets third, Paulo gets fourth. On the final corner. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Kevin will take that race win. Mateo, even though he's back there, he's still going to finish with P6, take that one any of the day. Then look at that. Andy in the pit, Scurry in the pit, everybody else. Just six, really, six drivers are going to cross the line. Finish this one. What a drive from Kev. Kept it cool, kept it calm. Yeah, he pulled away. No mistakes from Kevin in the last one there. He did make a mistake, obviously, in the first race, taking uh, Paulo with him. But, yeah, in that one, no mistakes. Kept his head down as well. Is he going to do some time to the hairpin, or is he just yeah. going to go straight to the pits, maybe? No. No, he's going to do a little victory lap then as he comes to the line. No problem with the sunlight in this one. Is he going to do some burnouts? I think he will. He's trying. He's trying. Well, he's found the wall there. <laughs> yeah. There it More is. More enough room. There we go. Ah, a bit of a celebration, of course. To get that race done here in Long Beach. Motion sickness and warnings. Alert. They're kind of donuts. They're, um... Yeah. Well, yeah. They're... They're 180s, is what they are. Uh, well, here's our results, then, for the second feature race. Kevin takes the win. Carlos, in the end, fought off Liam and Paulo for P2. Liam gets third place on the final turn of the final lap. Paulo takes P4. William throws away a P2 finish as well as the win. He spun out a first and he spun out a second. Ends up P5. Matteo P6. Andy P7. Scari P8. P9 for Aiden. Frankie P10. Uh, P11 for Leon. P12 for Enzo and 13th for Theo and 14th for Benny and I'm pretty certain all of those last three didn't make it past turn one. And that would have to be wrapping it up there for a very long uh, evening that we had between the F4s and F3s here for our fourth round, Season 2, Any Store Racing, at Long Beach, California in the United States. What a race.
races. Yeah, what a couple of yeah, what a couple of races. What did we learn from that? Uh, the car. Well, I can't wait for the GT freeze to come here. Is one thing I learned. And secondly, um, it's race of nutrition. Apparently, we shouldn't have street circuits in iRacing racing because we aren't ready for them. <laughs> I think it's been entertaining. That's for sure. Yeah, it's, been, it's been very entertaining. I'm sure, a lot of drivers time. will be talking about that, especially yeah, two 15 minute races in F4, especially oh. when it got really dark towards the end there. F3, of course, bring the entertainment, those cars bouncing around. Wes as the cast commentator, myself, Biggles, as the producer and caster as well, all for anti store racing. Wes, yeah, once again, we have the GTs coming up on when Friday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's Daytona on Friday. Oh, an hour's worth of racing at Daytona. So look forward to that one. I think the drivers are. Um, uh, apparently, from what I heard last time out, the at the end of the race, uh, they were talking about the strategy will be sort of whoever's not winning. You want to be second, apparently, is uh, the conversation now. So if you if you, if you watch the GTs on Friday, the technically the leader is second place because whoever's leading doesn't actually want to be there, is what I've learned in the interviews last time out. So yeah, that's a fascinating one. Completely different style of racing to what we've just seen of absolutely, you know, send it, go for it, chaotic racing. GT3s look like there's going to be a train of cars at Daytona. I cannot wait for that on Friday. But yeah, it's been a fantastic racing here today in the Formula 3 and Formula 4s. Can't wait for next week again where it should be another good two hours of 